Welcome to the Card Dojo. My name is Jordan. This is my journey in the modern day card collecting. Well, guys, it is Wednesday and we are doing our Fantasy Rip League Week 1 lineup. Using these two 2022 Prestige Blaster Boxes because Panini has yet to ship out my Elite first off the line, which was what's my plan. So here we go. Plan B. Uh, Prestige Blaster Boxes. Uh, for those who are not familiar with Fantasy Rip League, I will explain quickly. If you're a fan of fantasy football and trading cards, uh, I'm sure you will enjoy this. Uh, what we do is we have a bunch of content creators who all rip packs or boxes or whatever it is, uh, products, let's say. And uh, we set a lineup with uh, the cards that we pull. And then we will get multipliers, which I'll flash all the information um, on top of the screen. We will get multipliers to uh, multiply our points. Uh, the first two weeks we will accumulate points and then the, the final two weeks we will have a championship. We will do this four times throughout the season so that new people can get involved. And then at the end we will have a championship of champions. Uh, last year I believe Silver Sport was the champion of champions. So here we go guys. We are looking to set a lineup. That is the main goal of today. Um, a nice auto would be nice. Maybe from these two blaster boxes and um, possibly a numbered heroes is what I'm looking for. Uh, personally, uh, Mahomes would be very nice. Uh, so here we go, a prestigious pro for uh, Zach Martin. Okay, uh, some rookies. Uh, Izukanma. We'll learn these names. Uh, Daryl Mooney is our first number parallel uh, for the Bears. Possibility. Uh, Keenan Allen, Eric Stokes, Kurt Warner. Well, Kurt Warner definitely cannot be my quarterback, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully, we can pull in like a nice parallel Mahomes. To get a times two on his points, so if he score like, if he scores 25 points, you would get 50 with a times two. All, that's all we need. And then number card would be times three, which is possible here. Uh, time stamp for Aaron Rodgers, James Cook the rookie, Greg um, Dol Dolcia or Dolchik the rookie, Justin Jefferson a base parallel, uh, Jamal Charles is retired, and Alan Lazard. For the Green Bay Packers. Alright guys, so far, a very lackluster blaster box. Uh, I think we get two numbered cards per blaster. Uh, not the most ideal rip. I would prefer to have um, the Mega Boxes, but they are yet to be released. Hopefully they will be released um, and they don't have to skip out on them this year. Uh, powerhouse for Antonio Gibson. We got uh, Trey McBride, tight end rookie. We have a diamond parallel for Jake Jacoby Myers. So uh, not exactly the guy we're looking for, but a potential starter so far. Okay, Jonathan Taylor, Miles Gaskin. All right, guys, we, we need to hit some parallels of some players. I have seen a couple of the guys' lineups already who have uh, ripped a little earlier than me. I've been a little bit behind, guys. I have a giveaway to do. Uh, I will announce it in a short. I know uh, I'm a little bit behind uh, on schedule for everything. Devin Singletary. I also have a updates news and mail day. Um, okay, here we go. Another parallel for Trayvon Diggs uh, of the Cowboys. So we could possibly start the Cowboys defense or individual defensive player instead of a kicker if you don't pull a kicker. So um, that's a good possibility. I'll have to see who the, the Cowboys play. We have another numbered card. There we go, guys. Nick Chubb. So I think our RB1 is probably determined with this Nick Chubb. The first card that I will stand up, Nick Chubb, numbered, I'm sorry, out of 75. Oh, okay, guys, look. All right, even better. I'm glad I looked. This is a bookend. Wow. 75 of 75. Therefore, Nick Chubb will get me times five. All right, yeah. Okay, all right, guys, I'm feeling a little bit better. A little better. Uh, we still have two packs from Blaster Box number one, and we have a full box uh, to go. Uh, we do have another diamond in this one. Guys, I have not hit one heroes yet. Although I have not ripped too much. Uh, youth movement for Jamar Chase. Okay. A good receiver option. It would be better to have a parallel on him. We got Doug Williams. Uh, looks long retired. Hutchinson. It's always good to pull tight ends. Uh, no, he's not a tight end. What am I saying? Uh, good, good defensive individual player right there possibly. Um, but yeah. I don't know why it's a 10, but it is good to pull tight ends. Um, Pierre Strong Jr. I would say tight ends are the hardest thing to guarantee when setting your lineup. 
and then if you hit, hit a Travis Kelsey, you're good to go. Uh, Madison and a kid reporter. Got all distracted there with that uh, Hutchinson thick and hey, tight end. All right, here we go. Debo, Eli Manning. Not getting quarterbacks that we can start yet, guys. Come on, where's my parallel quarterback? That's going to be a big one. DJ Moore, parallel. Uh, Darius Leonard. Okay. Our defensive situation is all wrapped up. Not the most important thing, but hey, guys, you can win or lose with your defense. Ooh, we have Harrison Bucker, the buck kicking kicker. So we do have a kicker option for the Chiefs. Uh, not the parallel. Um, like I said, defensive players or defenses can actually get, guys, negative points. So you got to be careful. Uh, blaster box number two, guys. Blaster box number one was definitely a dud. All we really got out of it was like a, r a running back and a little bit of potential. Uh, but nothing too spectacular. We're going to hope to improve. I will go through the base cards pretty quickly. Um, so that we can save some time here. Uh, a number card. All right. Once again, for the, uh, for the Browns, unfortunately, Amari Cooper. That one is 54 out of 249. So am I really going to rely heavily on the Browns in week one? Uh, that could be detrimental to my chances of moving it on to uh, the, the first head-to-head -head, uh, championship round. Which would be uh, two versus two. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, two, two V2s, oh, oh, oh. or two, one, one V1s, what am I saying, what am I saying, let me try that again, you'll have two 1v1s, and then the winners will play each other, and that will determine the one champion, uh, we have state of the art, it's time to hear the for Kenny Pickett, who is named, uh, first round bench warmer, for the, for the Steelers, is this a case hit, yep. I am not sure, I have not seen it, but uh, even if it is, unfortunately, they just named uh, good old Mitch Trubisky as the starting quarterback there. Um, that could be a good poll, just, you know, personally. It's a pretty cool looking card. Uh, I haven't seen it, so it could be a rare case hit. Kyle Hamilton. Uh, case hits do have multipliers this year. Uh, we did start it last year. Uh, times eight, I believe. But like I said, times eight for a guy on the bench will not do us any, uh, not a bit of good. Let's just say that, all right? Okay, let's slap, 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 slap through the base with the upside down base. We got a uh, powerhouse for e Eli Mitchell. I always want to say Elijah, but we cut it down to Eli. That's fine. Uh, Chris Olave or Olave for the Saints. We got uh, Michael Carter. Again, another parallel. Not quite the guy we're looking for. We're not getting the studs other than Nick Chubb, AJ Green, and Brevin Jordan. Alright guys, we're down to just three packs, and then I will set my lineup. Um, hopefully, I will have some links to the other guys who are playing. We have about uh, 10 to 12, I believe, in round one. Uh, so you can go check them out. And uh, if I set my lineup and you guys disagree with me, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, look through this, this rip and see who you would uh, replace. We have Javon Johnson for the Bears. I feel like we're hitting all Bears and uh, Browns. Uh, what does he do? Where is he at? He is defense. So again, another defensive option. Uh, fantastic. A number card for once again. Is he defensive or is he offensive lineman? He's a big guy. Um, Tryon Smith. I'm looking. I'm looking. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be very useful. He might be the offensive lineman. I can't tell. He is numbered um, this way. 80 of 99. All right, so a number card, unfortunately, wasted there. We have Clyde Edwards-Alaire, uh, Damian Harris, and Joey Bosa. Guys, we are down to just two packs. If you need something big, come on. Uh, did we pull the Travis Kelsey from my tight end position yet? Um, I don't think so. Uh, Jim Kelly won't start. Jared Goff will not start. Um, what is it called again? Season's Greetings from the Magnolia State. And this is for Matt Corral. So we're doing all right with the the QB hits from this box. Like I said, just not so good for the FRL. Uh, Mark Andrews, so there we go. We have a tight end. Uh, Cade Otten, the rookie. Chris Olav, once again, another uh, version, the parallel. Diamond parallel. Is he starting with New Orleans? Maybe, possibly. Consider him. Uh, DeForest Buckner and the reporter. Guys, we are just, just down to one pack. Printed in eight... 22 look it was printed in the year in the, in the month it was released can you imagine that guys meanwhile prism draft picks is released once again to um so i believe early november 
So yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I paid for that box like half a year ago. Here we have Dawson Knox. Oh man, look at all these tight end options now. Uh, Jeff Okuda, the diamond. Kenny Pickett, the, the rookie. Quay Walker. Guys, I don't think we're going to have anything spectacular in the rest of this box. No. So unfortunately, guys, this rip was not too fantastic. Uh, we didn't hit an auto. I'm going to look up to see if this is a case hit. What I'm going to do now is pause it and we're going to quickly set our lineup. Okay, well, I don't got to play Matt or uh, proper overhead cameras. So uh, let's just try to go with it. Uh, we're going to do Nick Chubb. The bookend as our RB1, my only easy choice. Uh, we're going to do my toughest decision. So in the comment section, you know, if I'm messing up here, let me know. I'm going to take uh, the no multiplier JT over Michael Carter with the Jets as uh, WR or running back number two. All right, whatever. Okay, number three um, and four, the receivers. We're going to utilize my multipliers with the, uh, the number cards. So times three for both uh, Mooney and Amari Cooper. Uh, tight end, I struggle, guys. No parallel. We're going to do a base Mark Andrews. For defense, uh, the team, I'm going with Darius Leonard. And then for the player, individual, we're going with Trayvon Diggs. Both times two. All right. So uh, halfway decent, guys. Uh, my quarterback was a struggle as well. All I got really was a Lamar or Jared Goff. I'm going with Lamar because they're playing. Uh, who are they playing? I forget. But uh, it should be hopefully uh, a good one for Lamar. Getting back on track. And that's my lineup, guys. Like, it's, like I said, uh, not too spectacular. Not too disappointing, I suppose. But uh, you can be the judge. And... Most of the other guys who are playing, their links will be in my description. You can go check it out. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my lighting. Uh, but yeah, you can see what their lineups are, what they ripped. And uh, you can pick who you think will win this week, perhaps. I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, as always, thank you so much for stopping by and take care.